Hello, what's up ladies and gents? I hope that you are enjoying your day today. I have something special that I wanted to do for you with my friend, Chef Jay. He's one of my favorite chefs and he allowed me to pull him by the arm here so that we could do something from the cookbook, the new Intercourses, an aphrodisiac cookbook. Yeah, food, you know, is always good. You know, you have honey in the bedroom, you have whipped cream, mm -hmm. you know, th these things go well together. It's go time. So what we're gonna do today is, we're gonna do French toast with a honey rum sauce on top. Honey is good for the male libido, and what you guys didn't know, other than putting it on your honey and eating it off, once you ingest it, it's good as well. And so it, it helps you it helps you in the bedroom. So let's incorporate that into today's recipe. Mm, it helps you in the bedroom in more ways than one. Because after you eat the honey on your French toast, you can put it all over their body. <laughs> you know, it's more ways to use the sauce. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to turn up with that today. You ready to cook something? Yes, I am. Let's go time. Let's get it popping. Let's go. So today's ingredients, we are going to do eggs, half and half. Honey, unsalted butter, mint for garnishing, powdered sugar, cherries. You guys know to do with cherries, right? Yeah. Rum. <laughs> we have chopped pecans, maple syrup, light brown sugar, regular white sugar, cinnamon, and vanilla extract. Everybody's grandma and mama should have this at home. Right. Now, for the purposes of doing this demonstration, we are doing it on your burner stovetop. Correct. But the recipe in the book does say that they want you to put it in the oven. It's a tweak. We're gonna tweak it. You can put it in the oven, but that's not fun. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna cook it here on our stovetop, and we'll light some rum on fire too. We'll have a little bit of fun with this. Yeah. All right. Well, let's get straight to it. First thing we'll do is we're gonna crack the eggs. You wanna help me out? Okay. We'll crack eggs. We'll go right in oh, here. Oh shit! I'm over here making a mess. Sorry. You can do it. You can do it. Here we uh -huh. go. We'll do one more. Four. Mm -hmm. Okay. Egg was hard as well. Right. This egg hard boy? Oh, what type of eggs you brought? <laughs> so next we're gonna add our half and half. Just a little bit. About a half a cup. Okay. We're gonna add our rum. Ooh. <laughs> Got a little rum. Alcohol gives everything a boost, right? Now for a person who don't even drink, why I get so excited when he said a rum? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Now it's funny, you, you, you'll taste the rum in it, but it won't have the alcohol flavor, so well, it all works out. I mean, out. to be fair, I love rum cake. Okay, all right. So, you know, I, I already know what it's, it's gonna give what it needs to give. Okay, so, you know, w would you be open to trying a mimosa later? If this tastes good? I'm gonna be a team player today. We're gonna get along great today. So next, we're gonna add our brown sugar. It's a good day today. A little bit of brown sugar. We'll add a little bit of granulated sugar, one spoonful. A full spoon? Mm -hmm. or like that? Mm -hmm. Or more? Perfect. Because okay. that's about one tablespoon. And what we'll do, we'll put the uh, recipe in the description so you guys can have that, okay? Mm -hmm. We're going to add a pinch of cinnamon. A pinch? Mm-hmm. Boop. We'll add one more pinch. Okay. Boop. And then you can use your towel there, Chef. Oh, you are very messing up my fingernails. <laughs> I'll just mess with you. Awkward. You said use what? <laughs> <laughs> a pinch, and then we will add a dash of vanilla extract. We'll put two dashes in there. Oop. Now, I know I was being silly earlier saying, you know, what you could do with the honey and stuff. Even though you can make this recipe for your loved one, it would be kind of cool for you guys to make it together as well. Yeah, that's that's always good. Because the whole point of, of that is intimacy, right? Exactly. That's what you want. Okay. And so we'll put a dash of that in there. That always cracks me up when people cook with no measuring tools. It would be, uh, mm -hmm. if you had to measure, it'd be like one teaspoon, the equivalent of that. Uh, so right. one teaspoon, I'll show you. One teaspoon would be about like this. It looks like more than a teaspoon. It's definitely a teaspoon. I'll, I'll weigh it out and show you. Definitely. Okay, I trust you. See, and trust is part of intimacy as well, right? See how this goes? So now... Well, I was, I was, okay, great. <laughs> I tried it. So then we'll take our whisk and we'll stir it up like this. The key to doing this with a whisk, you want to keep the bottom of the whisk on the bottom of this surface so that way okay. we, we don't get a, a egg and milk shower. Oh. And you yeah. can already smell you can smell the rum, you can smell the sugar, kind of mm. incorporating together. Yeah, it's smelling good. Mm -hmm. You want to stir this until it's a kind of a uh, kind of a dull yellow color. That's how you know you're doing the right thing. And then 
We'll take our bread and dip. We gonna put the butter first or? Yeah, we'll do the butter first. How much butter are we putting in there? We're gonna put one tablespoon. So how hot are we supposed to have our pan? Uh, if you're at home on electric stove, about a five. On this one, like a medium high heat. So what we're gonna do now, we got Texas toast. You get this from your local grocery store, okay? Mm -hmm. So we'll take one like this candy. Okay. Soak it on this side. Mm -hmm. Soaking on that side. Mm -hmm. Candy's already done a great job of melting our butter. Mm -hmm. You want the butter to brown a little bit because it's going to help brown our French toast. Mm -hmm. And then we go right in there. Brown but not burnt. Brown, not burnt. So Candy, I want you to do the same thing. I'll switch sides with you. Okay. Give me a little uh. Mm -hmm. A little uh. Like that right there. Just like that. Bam. And then let it drip a little bit. There you go. And then bang. And then we'll let that go. You want to do this for about two to three minutes on each side on low heat because you want it to evenly cook. Also, you want the bread to dry up and soak up the moisture so it tastes better. Okay. And so we'll let this go for a second. And then we'll peek a little bit, see how it's looking. Mm -hmm. So far, so good. So we have like two minutes of downtime. I'm like, we should have put a couple more in this pan. <laughs> Well, what we could do, <laughs> what we can do for plating purposes, we could do these two and then we'll just get the rest popping. Okay. Because we'll, we'll cut these two up and then we'll plate it up real quick and be done. Yeah, we got to make it look cute for y'all. And then we're going to eat, eat. Even though I lost a couple pounds, you know, so I'm trying to keep myself together, you know what I'm saying? But for the purpose of date night, eat what you want, okay? No holes barred. Mm -hmm. All right, so Candy, we're ready to flip over. We're going to take your spatula. And if we did it right, it should be a nice, Oh, nice golden brown color just like that. That is nice beautiful. Nice and brown. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Perfect. You see that flip? Look at the flick of the wrist. Hey. So we'll let this go for another two minutes, and then it's time to plate my favorite thing in the world. I have whipped cream, I have cherries. Mm -hmm. to give you guys some excitement at home. We'll be right back. Honey, because that's the main ingredient. Mm -hmm. Maple syrup. I think this is when the sexy part of the whole mm -hmm. recipe comes in at. It's the sauce. Mm -hmm. It's always the sauce. Now it's sexy time. Okay, so I'm gonna let this get really, really hot and I'm gonna light the rum on fire. But Ooh. I'll get your heads up. You got about a minute or so before yeah. you really like You gotta get hot. back. Mm -hmm. We don't want this ponytail to catch fire though. No. Lord Jesus, <laughs> it's a fire! <laughs> When I tell you I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> it wasn't nothing sexy about what I just did. But sometimes you have to bring a little humor into the evening. You know what I mean? That I think that a little humor is always fun. The humor is catching me off guard. I'm not used to the humor. This fire is going to go probably about here. Are you serious? <laughs> so let's stop right there then. That's good enough. What? I'm going to keep it no hotter than that because it's going to be about, about here. All right, we ready? First thing in the bedroom you need is fire, right? So yeah. what we can do is we're gonna make a rum pecan sauce. So let's get some fire popping. We have a hot skillet. Don't try this at home, please, or email us before you do. So first things first is our rum. When you light it. What? <laughs> <laughs> like that. Oh, shit. <laughs> we're gonna add a little bit more half and half to it. We're gonna add our <coughs> pecans. <laughs> oh my God, more half and half. And then we're gonna give this a stir. Mm -hmm. So what's gonna, what happens is the rum and the cream is gonna, um, gonna evaporate. We're gonna add our honey. Mm -hmm. We're gonna add about a quarter cup of honey and a quarter cup of syrup. We're going to stir and then this is going to reduce. So we're going to let this go for about a minute or two. We're going to let this reduce. Mm. All right. So now this is the sauce you want. Mm -hmm. Nice mahogany brown color. Because mm -hmm. melanin is in, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So now it's time to plate. You ready to do that? Yes. We'll be right back. All right, you guys. Now it's time to plate. You ready to do this? I'm ready. All right. So what we're going to do is I like the plate. It's my favorite thing in the world to do. And so when you plate, you want to start kind of in the middle of the plate as much as possible. Mm -hmm. So we're going to actually shingle this French toast. Shingle? Shingle. What does that mean? Stack on top of each other oh. in a kind of a, a layered fashion like that. And height is key. Mm -hmm. All right. Cute. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to take our sauce candy, take the pecans, and go right on top with it. 
Okay, mm -hmm. when you say go right on top, you mean like... Like right here in the middle? Just yeah, like that? Just boom? Mm-hmm. Like that? Mm-hmm. And then also, like when we in the bedroom, you want a little bit of a skill and finesse. Well, not right? when we are in the bedroom. <laughs> But when, when you, you all are in we, the no, bedroom, not we, whoever. you all are in the bedroom. Yeah, y'all in Boy, the bedroom. Wrong idea. Right, everybody relax. We, you want to be delicate, and you want to hit the target, just like that. That's what you want, right? It looks good. Just like that, and so I do one more spoonful and go okay. right on top of it, just like that. All right. Mm -hmm. I like more sauce. We should have made some extra sauce. I think we should. Y'all hungry out there? Y'all want us to make some more sauce? We will. We have powdered sugar. We have mint leaves for color. Cherries, you guys know to do with cherries, right? And of course, whipped cream, no comment. Mm. So the first thing I would do, I would take my powdered sugar and just go right on top just like that. Nice. Be generous. Just like that. So next candy, I think we should do our whipped cream, right? Mm -hmm. So we'll take our whipped cream, stir it up. And again, when you plate, this is, everything's in the center. So everything is from the center, then you go out. Gotcha. So we'll do our whipped cream right in the middle, straight like that. Mm. Straight like that. I love whipped cream. You guys at home like whipped cream? Then I think we do kind of cherries on the side to give it a little bit of character and color. Mm. Here and here. And then we will take our mint leaves for color, put a little bit of flag here, right on top. All right. And then I'll put a couple little cherries here just for color and dramatics. That turned out perfect. Came out great. Thank you so much for that demonstration. I myself have a lot of great ideas of what you can do with the cherries once you finish eating the French toast. As well as the whipped cream. So save the bottle off to the side, eat the food, and then take the cherries and the whipped cream to the next level. Get it popping, right? Get it popping! Chef Jay, we have to do this again. We should, we should.